Hey guys and welcome back to another how-to tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this really awesome living room. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Right guys to make this really cool living room you're going to need to find an area of where you want to build your room. Now first off guys what we need to do is mark out the area of the room so as you can see in front of me I have marked out an area that is 15 blocks wide and 13 blocks long. Now the cool thing about this room guys it can be any size you want it is totally up to you but if you want to build the same size room as me it is 15 blocks wide and 13 blocks long like you can see right in front of me now once you have the floor marked out we are using dark oak planks for our floor right here we then need to start working on the walls now the first thing we're going to do is grab ourselves some snow blocks and then we're going to go to the right side of the room first and we're going to build up six pieces of snow blocks so one two three four five six and these are going to be the walls for our room so what we're going to do for these walls we're going to build it all the way around this side right here and then we're going to build it around the back but we are going to leave the left side empty so what we're going to do is build this wall all the way on the right side and the back right now So once you've built up all the walls on the right side and the back of the room guys you should get something that looks like this. Now with this empty left side that we left at the beginning what we are going to do is grab our black stained glass panes and we are going to fill this wall up with our glass stained panes but we need to make sure that it's on top of the wood like this. So we're going to fill up this wall all with glass stained panes. So if you are building this in your house I recommend you make this a window so you can see the outside because it will look a lot better so just make sure you fill up this whole wall with black stained glass panes so once we have done that guys we should get something that looks like this and as you can see all of our walls are complete so now what we're going to do is start working on the inside of our room now the first thing we're going to do is grab ourselves some brown hardened clay and we are going to work on a fireplace in this corner over here now to do that what we're going to do is place down two pieces of hardened clay right here like that leaving a two block space at the back right there then we're going to place another piece right here and then we're going to place two pieces right there like that then we're going to put three pieces of never rack in the back right here and then we're going to light these pieces of never rack on fire and this is going to be our fireplace but we're going to make this fireplace look a lot nicer so we're going to build this up all the way to the top of our ceiling right there then what we're going to do is leave a one block gap in front of the fire and then we're going to build on top of it like this and we're going to build this all the way up to the ceiling as well then we're going to get our black stained glass panes once again and put it in front of the fire like that so we have a nice little fireplace but what we're going to do with this fireplace we're going to bring out a unit so it looks like we have a tv stand as well so we're going to get our brown hardened clay and we're going to make this unit go all the way across until we have one block gap between the glass and our block and then we're going to leave some blocks in here as well because we're going to fill this up with some glowstone or some sea lanterns so it looks really nice so we're going to put four block gap in the middle right there so as you can see we have a fireplace and we have a star of a tv unit right there so what we're going to do now is grab ourselves some sea lanterns or glowstone it's totally up to you then grab yourself some black stained glass then we're going to put the sea lanterns in the ground right here in this four block gap that we left then we're going to put some stained glass blocks in on top of that right there so we get some lighting for our room now we're going to work on the tv area for this room so what we're going to do is grab ourselves some black stained glass panes and we're going to run stained glass panes down from the ceiling like this until we get a two block gap at the bottom then we're going to put two stained glass panes there and there and then one on this side now if you think that tv is too high what you can do is bring it down one block like this and destroy the top ones as well and it still looks really really good now this doesn't look like a tv right here so what we're going to do is grab ourselves a painting and we're going to put our painting on top of these glass panes and then we're going to select this big painting over here so it looks like we have a nice big flat screen tv on our wall and i think that looks really really cool so as you can see right here guys we have our fireplace and we have our tv slash entertainment unit and now we can start working on the seating area 
So the first thing we're going to do for the seating area guys, we're going to build a coffee table. Now to do that, we need to grab our quartz slabs and from the middle of this TV, so these two black stained glass blocks right there, we need to go three blocks in this direction. So one, two, three like that, then place down a quartz slab and destroy these three that we just placed down. And this is going to be the start of our coffee table. Then what we're going to do is put another block next to it and then we're gonna place three more blocks going in this direction. So one, two, three like that and then one two three now this is going to be our coffee table and the center of our room now we're going to build some couches either side of this coffee table now to do this we need to grab our snow layers and we need to grab some snow blocks now one block away from this coffee table right here what we need to do is place down about three or four snow layers so one two three like that and do that all the way across until it's the same length as the coffee table like that then we're going to do the same on this side so miss a block right here place down three or four snow layers so one two three i think i did there yep and then do that all the way across on this side like that so these are going to be the seats for our sofas then what we're going to do is grab our snow layers once again and to the side of these snow layers right here what we need to do is place about five or six snow layers so one two three four five uh, six I think looks good right there and then we're going to do the same once again right next to that so one two three four five six and we're going to do the same on this side as well so one two three four five six one two three four five six now what these are right here guys these are the armrests to the sofa now to finish this sofa off what we need to do is grab our snow blocks and put it at the back right here and as you can see we get a really nice looking sofa so what we're going to do we're going to do the same on this side place six in the snow layers on the sides for the armrests so one two three four five six one two three four five six and do the same on this side one two three four five six one two three four five six then finally put your snow blocks at the back right here and then we get two really nice looking sofas and as you can see guys the living room is really starting to come together nicely so next what we're going to do guys we're going to work on this wall over here because this wall looks a little bit plain so we're going to add some detail to this wall so what we're going to do is add a little table at the bottom right here now the table is going to be four blocks wide so i recommend that you line it up with the back of this sofa right here so i'm going to start it from this point and go all the way over to this wall then i'm going to grab myself a black stained glass pane place it there and then go to this edge of the sofa go to the back of the wall right there place another one right there then we're going to grab ourselves some black carpet and we're going to put black carpet on top of these two uh, glass panes right here and we need to grab ourselves some string as well so we can make a nice table then we're going to put the string at the bottom in these two block gaps right here so one there one there and then place our carpet on top of these two pieces of string so we get a nice little table right there then we're going to add a nice wall feature above this so one block above it what we're going to do is punch out five blocks so one two three four five six blocks like that so we're going to punch out six blocks like this then we're going to punch it out again right above it and then behind this right here what we're going to do is grab ourselves some red hardened clay clay and some dark oak uh, wooden planks and then what we're going to do is fill this area behind it with red hardened clay like this so we're going to fill it up so that area that we just dug out is is full of red hardened clay like that then on the right hand side right here we're going to punch out two blocks right there then we're going to place down some dark oak uh, planks in that area and as you can see it looks like a nice wall feature on the wall right there like a nice painting that you don't usually see in minecraft so the room is really coming together nicely guys and we just need to add some finishing touches to the room so first off what i'm going to do is grab myself some cobblestone walls and next to this window right here what we're going to do is place down some cobblestone walls and we're going to place it down all the way to the ceiling like that so it looks like some support beams in the room so it's holding up the roof then what we're going to do is probably place another one that is uh one two three four five blocks in between the other one so we've got four blocks right there and then we place it on the fifth one so we have two beams like that holding up the roof then what we're going to do is add a rug into our room now the rug can be any style that you want but i'm going to go for black 
gray and light gray and we're going to do a nice big rug all the way around this room so i'm going to start in this section right here and do it all the way around my sofa like this i'm going to go maybe two or three blocks all the way to the edge of that sofa right there then once i've done that i'm going to do dark gray and we're gradually going to go all the way up to light gray so we're going to keep going in increments of three like this so three black carpet free gray carpet and then we're going to finish it off with four light gray carpet like this surrounding all our sofa and our coffee table like that so we get a nice uh, big rug in our living room right here again guys this can be totally any color you want it to be it is totally up to you now for some final finishing touches in this room guys what we're going to do is add some flower pots around just for some decoration we're going to put two flower pots right here then add some flowers in there and we're also going to put two flower pots right here like this so if i back up right here guys as you can see the living room is complete and we have a really nice sleek and modern living room design that you can put in any of your houses now i know some of you guys may be asking what it would look like with the roof complete and this front wall complete right here and as you can see i've just used snow blocks just to show you the ceiling and the front wall and we have a nice complete room and it looks really really cool but guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you want to see more just like it and you never want to miss an upload from me, all you need to do is click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I upload a brand new tutorial. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in another how-to tutorial.